Welcome to Agricultural and Fishery Art 7. Today, we will talk of the week 6 poultry and livestock materials, tools, and equipment, and their uses based on industry standards. Poultry housing and materials. Poultry housing, a shelter provided to feathered animals to protect them from the harsh environmental climatic conditions that can affect chicken's growth, performance, and productivity. We have types of poultry houses. First, the free range of extensive poultry house system. The oldest type of poultry housing where a small number of birds or chickens are reared. 10 to 12 birds per family of farmers. Free-range poultry housing requires less capital investment to construct. Second, the semi-intensive poultry housing. It is common type of housing among small-scale poultry farmers. This system of poultry rearing is partly free-range and partly intensive. It is more economical use of land in comparison to the free-range system. Third, the folding units housing. This type of housing system, poultry rearing is the same as that of a semi-intensive system. Here a poultry house followed by a run where the whole area of the run is enclosed by wire nettings and the space requirement is less and the total poultry unit can be shifted from one place to another. Fourth, intensive system housing. The most efficient, convenient, and economical system for modern poultry production with huge numbers. Commercial poultry is supplied in this poultry housing system. We have types of intensive poultry housing. First, the deep litter system, a widely used by successful poultry racers, known for other terms as chicken coop. The floor of the chicken house with beddings or good litter materials. A good litter material for your poultry farm could be straw, sawdust, or leaves to the depth, 2 to 3 inches. There is easy access to feed, water, and egg collection. Second, the slated or the wild floor poultry system. Poultry house can be constructed on treated wooden piers 0 0.8 to 1 meter above the ground. This system allows a lot of ventilation into the house and is easy for removing chicken droppings. It is easy to collect manure as the chicken droppings pass through the opening on the wire floor. Third, the slate floor comb litter system. Combines both the features and advantages of the slate system with that of the deep litter system. It has a slates on either side of the house against each side while leaving the central portion of the littered floor. The water and feeding tube for this system are placed on the slated area so that waste can drop to the floor through the slots. Fourth, multi-tier housing system or aviaries. It is considered the best non-cage alternative to cage system for large-scale egg production. This is because it allows the housing of large flocks, ensuring excellent production results and low mortality. The spacious character of the aviary provides living space at several levels. Approximately 18 hands per square meters can be stuck on the floor surface. 5. Cage or Battery Housing System It is the latest system of poultry layering. The breadth and height of the cage are 1 foot and 1% foot respectively, and the length depends on the number of birds to be kept in the cage. However, it is better not to keep more than 10 to 12 birds per cage. The birds are confined in a cage just large enough to permit limited movement and allow them to stand and sit comfortably. For number 2, the perches. Are horizontal and vertical poles installed as a resting place for a poultry animals? It should be provided. 
especially during summer to keep animals cool and comfortable. Feeding through A long narrow container made of plastic or metal used to hold food for farm animals. Water or drinking through A man-made or a natural receptacle intended to provide drinking water for poultry animals. Dropping board the area found below the roast bar in a chicken coop, it helps by collecting the manure and keeping it contained so that it is easy to remove after a chicken has shed its droppings. Chick brooder Equipment used to provide warmth and light to rear the baby chicks during the first few weeks of life. Poultry transport crates or cages Suitable for transporting a range of poultry and is ideal for use in both commercial and small-scale operations, it is easy to clean and maintain, making it a cost-effective and practical choice for poultry farmers and transporters. Next, usually more or less circular structure of twigs, grass, mads, formed by a bird often high in a tree as a protected place in which to lay and incubate its eggs and rear its young. Next, the livestock materials and equipment. First, we have the cattle housing, living space or house per cattle. It must provide a comfortable, clean, well-drained and dry-lying area together with shelter from adverse weather, space to allow the animal to move, lie down and rise freely as well as access to adequate food and water. Feeding through for the cattle. A long narrow shallow receptacle from which cattle or horses feed. Drinking through. A well-built through where fresh and clean supply of water for cattle animals is placed for easy drinking. This can be made from a wood, galvanous iron, or cement materials. The portable loading chute. A loading chute is an optional trailer that is used to transport animals. The loading chute should be located directly off the crowding pen, allowing easy movement of cattle. Shades of sheds. A place for the cows to relax and sleep during the night. Each cow has their own place in the resting area, called cubicle. The cubicles must be covered with a roof made of iron sheets or grass that called makuti. Next, the materials and equipment for hog or swine raising. Swine housing, designed to protect pigs and give them the most ideal environment for growth and production. The pig feeding chew. This sheep feeder chew can be compositioned in the center of the pig barns so that pigs can take feed from all directions. Swine waterer. Modern pipe water system within buildings and pig farms provide pigs with continuous access to drinking water and on many farms are also used for short periods to medicate growing pigs with antibiotics to help keep them healthy and productive. The hog wallow. Adds comfort to the hogs during hot weather. If properly used, this may improve growth rate of growing swine. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.